guys, so today we are going to be doing, I'm taking my shoes off. I am just, I'm getting hot in the basement today. It's really hot outside. Anyway, we are going to be doing a haul of yard sale stuff and then also I have some random stuff mixed in here as well to help clear off my table, which we all know at this point I've just, you know, come to the the realization that it's just never going to be clear, which is fine. Uh, so you saw the last two videos, footage videos of me and Eric at just a really large yard sale. They have this every year, but it's been about two years since they had one and count of, you know, COVID and all of that stuff. So um, typically it's one that I, you know, really enjoy going to and everything like that. I felt like I didn't really find a whole lot there there was a lot of stuff but I just felt like it really wasn't you know a ton of fantastic things so I am going to share with you what I did pick up and go from there there is a lot of stuff I want to show you uh, so one of the first things I found and this I found for myself you guys saw me pick this up I spotted it from across the way and I tried to scurry over there as fast as I possibly could now this isn't an old piece or anything like that it's just made to look older um it's just made of like a i don't even know what you want to call that like a resiny type material but it definitely has that um old look to it i absolutely love it i don't see any you know name brand or anything on it so i don't know where it originally came from but i fell in love i love this kind of stuff so i got that for me and i think i paid two dollars for it also on the table, I found this little bony bunch ceramic. Um, you can put a votive candle in here. So he was $1 and it's really cute. He's got this light here on his eye that does turn on. Yep, there is actually a battery in there right now. It changes colors and flashes. Um, so he was $1 and that is by Yankee Candle. So I do have quite a few Bony Bunch pieces. Some of them have sold. I won some at an auction before, but I love the fact that he lit up. So $1 for him, and I listed him for a buy it now of $18.99. Also at the table, I picked up this Boyd's Bears little trinket box. It has a mousse on top and just says, Boyd's Bearware collection there on the bottom and then when you open him up he has a little tiny matching mousse that sits in there so I thought that was cute I do like picking up trinket boxes you guys know I do um I think he was one dollar I want to say and I listed him as a buy it now for sixteen dollars and ninety nine cents so also at the sale, there was a church having a rummage sale um, inside. So it was fill a bag for $10. So I ended up filling a bag of some stuff. Actually, I don't even think it's all down here. And that is like the story of my life when it comes to my hauls. You might see stuff from another footage video or you know possibly something i'm showing that you haven't even seen the footage video yet so i apologize for that i'm trying to keep things in order but sometimes it's so hard to remember what days i bought stuff anyway at the rummage sale eric picked up these two mesh dome um little like net things that go over your picnic like if you're having a cookout to go over your food i don't know if these are older or not um, but they have a really cute like fish motif to them. So he threw them in our bag. Um, I listed them together as the lot, the set of two uh, for a buy it now of $19.99. I don't know if these will sell or not. Um, so they were made in the Philippines. I don't know, but he threw them in the bag. <laughs> I threw this in the bag. I thought this was really cool and it still had its original tag on it. It says the Butterfly Farm, copyright 1979. And then it just goes to talk about butter, it's, it's a real butterfly inside um, dried flora and then like a little blurb about it. So that's kind of creepy. I didn't realize that was actually a real butterfly in there, but it's in this like glass jar. My grandma had something very similar to this in her living room as decoration. 
So I just decided to put that in my bag and I listed this as a buy it now for $19.99. I got a box of home interiors candles in the scent Holly Berry. So these are votive candles. It's a dozen of them in there. They're just like red candles. Some of these like home interiors candles, some of the fragrances can sell like people are still looking for them or you know some people have those um like the home interiors glass votive holders and you know are looking for the home interiors candles to go in them my hair just got caught in that box uh, so i picked this up at a yard sale it wasn't at um the large yard sale that i was at um anyway i paid three dollars for this box and i listed it as a buy it now for 39 dollars 99 Next item did come from that rummage sale in the church. This was a Talking Tom plush. I don't know if that app is still around. There was an app at one point. I feel like this was quite a number of years back when it was popular. It was a of a cat called Talking Tom, basically. Anyway, that sold for a buy it now of $24.99. So that paid for my bag. Plus I made profit off of the stuff that I got in that bag. Um, outside the church, I found a bottle of Clinique Happy Perfume. This I did pay $10 for, but it is um, very full, if not new, uh, without box. Smells really nice. $10 for that, and I listed it as a buy it now for $39.99. I did, at the sale, pick up this box here. Um that has a Fostoria uh, salt and pepper shakers in. I thought these were really pretty. There's even, you know, I like the fact that it still had its original box and like paperwork and the salt and pepper shakers look like they're in brand new condition. So I just thought they were really pretty. They're super heavy um, and pretty much go with anything. I paid $2 for these and I listed them as a buy it now for $24.99. I got this for a quarter. I'm still not entirely sure what it's for. It's for knitting. It's called a knitting knobby. I thought it was really cute because it looked like a little mushroom. So I paid 25 cents for that and I listed it for a buy it now of $12.99. Next item actually already sold as well. This one was a um, little crafting kit to make those beaded dolls. Um, I paid $1 for the kit. It wasn't in its original packaging, but they had it in like a Ziploc bag and everything was in there and all the sequins and stuff were still sealed. And I sold that for $19.99. Eric picked up a Harley Davidson shirt. Um, this one is from 1996, and it's um, Las Vegas, Nevada. So we got that. Um, does look like it's single stitch. And let's see, he paid $1 for this shirt, and we listed it as a buy it now for $39.99. All right, this next item was that Pier 1 Sugar Skull beaded table runner. This thing is absolutely beautiful gonna be hard to really show it here on camera but it is just the most gorgeous beading ever on these skulls absolutely amazing I love it so it is from Pier one but just so nicely made I mean you're not gonna find anything quite like this with all of this really awesome beading to it so I did look this up and I did find one that sold a while back for a um, hundred some dollars. So I bought it. I did pay $30 for this, I think is what, maybe it was 25. I think it might've been 25, 25 or 30. Um, and I did list this as a buy it now for $139.99 currently. There are none listed, so I'm hoping maybe come around the Halloween area, maybe this will go. So we'll see, but I just, I had to have it because I thought it was gorgeous. <laughs> you saw Eric was carrying around this Yo Gabba Gabba uh, Broby 
a stuffed like kids backpack um so i was saying in the video like i feel like it is like for me anyway i feel like you know there's not many times i come across yo gabba gabba uh, toys uh, some of them can sell well and that's probably why just because they are a little bit harder to find i don't know um quite how popular that um show was or anything like that but um i decided to pick him up i paid a dollar for him he's not really worth much i did list him as a buy it now for thirteen dollars and 99 cents but he's so cute came from the church rummage sale i found this ornament so this is called fanciful flights by karen rossi for silva silva street and I will get it out of here so you can see because it's a really cute ornament. It is of a police officer. And it's kind of like 3D-ish looking and made of like metal. And then it has all of these little charms dangling off. So there's like a billy club, a little police car. There's a coffee mug, a traffic ticket, um, a warning ticket there's a, a ticket book and it actually has little like real papers inside like you can open up uh, here's a donut so it's just really cute i thought it was adorable so i decided to put it in my um bag and i listed this for a buy it now of 14 dollars and 99 cents these also came from the church rummage sale these are a pair of vans shoes um, they're by Kyle Walker. So they're green and they have like a Velcro bit that goes over the toes. So they're in pretty decent condition. I did clean them up as well as I could. Um, let's see. I listed these for a buy it now of $39.99. And they are a size... What size are you? They are a men's size nine. I'm actually already sold as well. I picked this up at a random yard sale. It was a Dimensions crafting kit, brand new. It was called the Dollhouse Tea Party. I paid $3 for this and I sold it for a buy it now of $99.99. And I'll tell you what, it pretty much sold as soon as I listed it. So in the grand scheme of things, I maybe should have put it up on auction just in case there was someone else out there who was looking for it and then they could have, you know, had a little bit of a bidding war. But all of the ones that sold, the last one that had sold actually sold for, I believe it was like 95. So it was even slightly less than what mine sold for. So I'm still really happy with what I got and how quick of a flip and how great of a flip that was because I only paid $3 for it. Okay, so in my last, my last haul video, I was telling you guys that Eric um, had gone to an auction and he won a bunch of trays of like high-end skincare type items and stuff like that. Um, I will eventually start breaking down what I paid for each tray and that kind of thing as I'm doing my hauls. But I'm kind of in a hurry today because I want to record two videos and we have an auction preview that we want to go to as well. So I will let you guys know we did pay a lot of money for these skincare trays, um, but I definitely think that I'm going to do really well with them. So we'll see. Um, and you will be seeing all of these just like pop up randomly in my hauls because it's going to take me a while to list it all. Um, and all of these items are new. So this right here is an IT Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep. It is a skin transforming pillow cream. I listed this for a buy it now of $29.99. Some items I may have doubles of, but I just haven't come across them yet. Um, I do have three of these. These are by a company called Miami MD. They are age-defying lift and firm creams. So there are three of those, and I have those listed as a buy it now for $39.99 a piece. Um, these here came on a tray I won at the auction. Um, it's a little roll of stickers by um, Current. There's a pretty decent amount on there. And these are all like little angel stickers. So these are probably from, I would guess, the 90s. And then you could 
pull them out type of thing, like a whole little sticker roll. They're called um, Expressions of Faith there on the bottom. I listed these for a buy it now of 12, actually I think these are on auction for $12.99. I am also still listing um, some dolls from that one yard sale I went to uh, where I got a bunch of like older dolls. This one here is a My Generation Barbie doll. So she looks like this and she comes with a whole bunch of her accessories. So I listed her um, as a buy it now for $29.99. These here are just a pair of Bratz shoes. Um, I do have a couple just random pieces of like doll pieces that didn't really go to any dolls that I had. I listed these as a buy it now for $4.99. These were on the same tray um, from the auction where I got some of my stickers. These are cute. These are from, what was the year on these? 1982. Um, it's Grandma and Grandpa's Journal. They have like a little spiral bound. Um, the, they're kind of like a keepsake thing for a grandma and grandpa to fill out. These are not filled out. Um, they just have like all sorts of like questions that you can answer um, and just stuff like that. I thought it was really cute. So pretty much they're the same, not all the same questions, but some of them have the same questions. And then um, some of the pages also have little pockets where you can add, you know, little keepsakes and things like that. So I thought those were really cute. I listed these together as the set. Um, for a buy it now of $19.99. I won a tray at an auction that had these Yankee candles on them. I won the tray for $20. And this tray also had the Yankee candle toppers that you saw in one of my last hauls where like I got a cha-ching and it was one of those candle toppers that sold. So I really wanted the tray for these candles. These are the Yankee Candle Maple Walnut Large um, 22 ounce jar candles. So I got these because this fragrance was selling high. Um, so I do have, there were two of these on there. They're both brand new. And I listed these for a buy it now of $69.99 a piece. I also have another little Dimensions um, crafting kit. This one is a tiny one. It's called Midnight Snowman. And that is still sealed. I did pay $2 for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $25.99. This guy was on the tray that I won at the auction that had um, the stickers that I've been showing you and the grandma and grandpa book. Um, this is candle adhesive called Stick'em. I thought this was a really cool advertising piece. Um, it still has like an old William Sonoma price tag sticker on the back and it definitely doesn't look like it was ever used. So I thought that was pretty cool. I listed this on auction with a starting price of $9.99. So we'll see. I did come from an auction, paid $4 for him. Um, it's just a St. Nicholas Square animated storytelling Santa he still is on his original packaging. I think he reads um, the Twas the Night Before Christmas. Yeah. So it sounds. So he, you know, moves and, and tells the story. So I thought that was really cute. Won that for four bucks. And I listed that as a buy it now for $29.99. This next item did come from a yard sale. Um, this is a TENS unit. Um, Eric was kind of interested in this just to keep for himself, but then we went to an auction and he found like a legit one that cost um, originally like a lot, a lot of money. And these typically do um, cost pretty well. So it looks like this, um, everything's in there. I'm pretty sure she said it was never used. It comes with um, all the pads and everything like that. Um, and then she also threw in these here, which are kind of like, um, 
I know it's hard to see because they are brand new still steel, but they're like reflexology type of sandals that have those like nubby bumps on them that's supposed to like help with, um, you know, foot pain and, and stuff like that. Quite frankly, I think that would give you foot pain, but I don't know. I've never used them before. So these items are new. We paid, uh, we paid $20 for the set. And I listed it as a buy it now for $119.99. So that was a pretty good find. Picked up these Dexter bowling shoes. So they look like they're in nice condition. Just a pair of black Dexter bowling shoes. These are a men's size 11 and a half. We paid $1 for these and listed them as a buy it now for $35.99. Recently won this at an auction. Um, it's a Winnie the Pooh. This is from the Disney store. It's called Just Begun and there are four little really super soft uh, Winnie the Pooh plushies in there. It kind of looks like a storybook. So we won this for $11 and I listed it as a buy it now for $59.99. Won this at the auction when he won all of that high-end skincare. This is a Clarisonic Mia 2. So I do have one of these um, and they're really nice. So this is brand new. It comes with the traveling case. It comes with one, two, three, four brush heads, a cleanser. Um, here, I'll show you what the Actually, it comes with five brush heads because there's a brush head on the actual unit as well. So it's like a blue camo. So really nice. It doesn't currently have a charge, but um, just really nice. These are these are nice um, skincare brushes. So hold on one second. Let me get this shut again. Won this for a bid of just $10. I don't think other people realized what it was. And I listed it as a buy it now for $99.99. I got this shirt at a yard sale for a quarter. I thought this was really cool. Um, it's kind of like a promotional item, I do believe, for um, the Princess Diaries 2. So it's definitely older. It's a little red ringer baby tee. I paid a quarter for that and I listed it on auction i listed it on auction with a starting price of 69 dollars 99 when i looked up princess diaries two shirts the other ones listed were more like um not form fitting not like baby tee form and those were listed high so that's why i kind of went high on that so we'll see i also got this recently at a yard sale i paid one dollar for this you'll see this footage at some point i'm pretty sure i was recording there um, this is a really old Rawlings, uh, like football type of jersey for the Redskins. This thing is gnarly. It is falling apart. <laughs> um, it's pretty, pretty, um, ripped up and not in like very good condition, but you know, there are collectors out there who look for this type of stuff. So as always, my favorite thing to say, we'll see. Um, I paid a dollar for that and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $49.99. I got this, um, this was still sealed. Um, it's a box, a case pretty much of Crest 3D white strips. Got this at a yard sale. There are four um, boxes of Crest white strips in here. I paid $3 for this case. They are expired, but people still do buy them. I mean, it's not going to hurt to use them by any means. Uh, I did list these as a buy it now for $49.99. This recently at a yard sale for 50 cents. This is um, by Fun World. Easter Unlimited. It's called a voice changer. So it makes three different eerie voices, a scary monster, a high alien, or you can amplify your own voice to make it sound um, eerie, basically. So brand new, still sealed. I did list this as a buy it now for $39.99. Um, this was a random item on a random auction tray. I didn't know if something like this would sell. Um, it's an old seed sack. It says Myers Quality Seeds, Baltimore, Maryland. 
So I didn't know if people like buy these types of things as like advertising pieces or if maybe they use them um, for different reasons. I don't know. I just decided to list it and see. Um, I put it up on auction with a starting price of $9.99. This was on a random tray um, at an auction. It's called a Holiday Ice Sculpture Ice Village gingerbread house with color changing effects it is brand new still sealed and then it changes these colors when you turn it on so i thought that was cute and i listed this as a buy it now for 25 dollars 99 a couple more skincare items this one is by pure face anti-aging cream this is brand new still sealed I listed this for a buy it now of $16.99. I have an Estee Lauder Pleasures Intense Rollerball Perfume. This one here I listed as a buy it now for $39.99. This came from one of those auction trays. There were high-end skincare. There was also some perfume and stuff like that. It was like a mix of things. Um, there was also this Lancome Visionaire, uh, what is this, Advanced Skin Corrector for Wrinkles, Pores, and Texture. That's brand new, still sealed. Listed this for a buy it now of $79.99. This stuff is really expensive. A lot of this skincare stuff is really expensive to buy it retail. I got this little ceramic um, lipstick holder of this girl in a really pretty red dress. She doesn't have any markings. I paid 25 cents for her. You can put four um, lipsticks in her and I listed her for a buy it now of $15.99. I got a Laura Geller Blush and Brighten Baked Cheek Color. So this has, um, I'll try and show it to you. It has a brand new um, still sealed um, brush in there. And then I'll sh try and show you the color of the blush here. So it looks like this. Really pretty. It's in, what's the shade on this? pink buttercream that's a really pretty color so that as a buy it now for $29.99 okay let's see next item we have is a Josie Marin whipped argan oil intensive hand cream this is unscented it is still sealed I um, listed this as a buy it now for $35.99 also have, whoa, goodness gracious, I'm glad I got that. I also have a Josie Marin Argon Daily Moisturizer with SPF 47. Um, this is in like a glass bottle. Um, listed this as a buy it now for $29.99. Get that Hallmark um, Christmas ornament listed. I got this at a yard sale in one of my last footage videos. Um, it's from 2014 called Where Dreams Become Toys. So it's animated and moves around and um, plays a little tune as well um, and lights up. I paid $4 for that and I listed it as a buy it now for $35.99. I got this really pretty pottery piece at a yard sale. I paid $3 for it. Um, it is by Magnolia Place Pottery in Seagrove, North Carolina. And it is signed by the artist on the bottom. Her name was Phyllis Hunt. So I thought that was a really pretty piece. Um, like I said, I paid $3 for that. And I listed it on auction with a starting price of $29.99. I got a Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer. Looks like this. This one is really large. Um, these also were selling really well because it's like a, a bigger size, basically. Um, I listed this on auction with a starting price of $49.99. There weren't any of this size currently listed, but ones have sold for um, a decent amount. I got an IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish Airbrush Press Powder. This is in translucent. I um, listed this as a buy it now for $13.99. I got this ornament at a yard sale. I thought this was so cute. It's made out of wood. It's from 1988 by Cheryl Johnson. It's called the Heirloom Tradition. 
still has its little tag attached but it is double sided little angel and then when you press this down her wings and her feet kind of splay out i found that was so cute i paid 25 cents for her and i listed her on auction with a starting price of 12 dollars 99 i couldn't find that exact one I got these really cute ceramic left-in angels so when you sit them they kind of look like they're kissing and they do still have their left-in stickers so I paid one dollar for these and I listed them as a buy it now for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents I got this really weird plush at a yard sale it was still sealed in its bag I paid one dollar for it um, its name is called, it's something um, from the Dreamland Chronicles. I'm not sure what that is, if that's a comic book or a book, uh, but it's called Paddington Rumblebottom III is the name of the character. So anyway, I paid a dollar for it and I listed him as a buy it now for $29.99. Eric recently found these at a yard sale and I'm glad he looked these up because these are super expensive. These are German made Eschenbach Max TV clips. So these are um, clips that go over your glasses to, um, you know, make you be able to see better. So you can wear them like if you're trying to watch TV or if you're working on a hobby where you need to see closer up, um, you know, that type of thing. So there were two of them there, so we took both of them. We paid $3 a piece for them, and we listed them uh, for a buy it now of $99.99 a piece. I got a bunch of these Mrs. Grossman's stickers. Um, I feel like there were like 60 sheets of these stickers um, and I listed them all together as like a big old lot. I paid for the tray. Uh, I paid $9 for the tray and some of the stuff came off the tray. The Grandma and Grandpa journals, the other like angel stickers, the stickum tin, and then there was some other stuff as well that I haven't gotten around to doing anything with. But anyway, I put these up on auction with a starting price of $49.99. Large sticker lots can sell well, especially older ones, and um, Mrs. Grossman's is a good sticker brand. I also got a Josie Marin Pure Argon Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. This I have listed for a buy it now of $49.99. I have a Lush Shower Jelly in Beets. Um, this was just part of my collection. I never used it and I'm not a fan of the smell. It has like a minty smell to it and I'm not the biggest fan of mint. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $29.99. Eric won this gourd at an auction for a dollar. You guys know I love I love gourds. Um, I have a hard time selling them, but I still pick them up. Um, I thought this one was really cute because it has these two little hand-painted cats on. And then on the back it says, Believe in the Magic. So $1 for that. And I listed it as I listed it on auction with a starting price of $19.99. And then the last thing that I have for this haul, um, I have these Beverly Hills MD Dermal Repair Complex. These are capsules. I have six jars of these. Um, and I listed them as a buy it now for $39.99 a piece. I got six of them. And they are brand new, still sealed. Out of this haul, I think I'm only keeping two things and I'll share those with you real quick. The first is this really pretty journal. I may still list this, I haven't decided yet. I like the look of it. It has this embossed feel to it and it just looks like a bookshelf with all of these books. And then you can open it on the side. It's a little bit like magnetic. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice journal. It's by I don't even know, but it originally retails $6.97. Um, I got it for less than a dollar. And I'm also keeping these, I think, came um, on an auction tray um, at the auction. It's a set of knives. They look like this, just like steak knives. But um, 
These are by um, Chicago Cutlery and our knife block set upstairs is by Chicago Cutlery. Um, and I have a habit of breaking knives. I think I've broken two already. So our, <laughs> our knife block is missing two. They're not exactly the same as these, but very similar. So um, we're just gonna keep those. Um, but yeah, that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.